Hi everyone. This is the weaving project I'm working on today. This is an elegant, beautiful pattern by Linda Smith Gerganis called Peacock Feathers. And you can see why. Look at those colors. So beautiful. We're working on a pro loom today. I'm gonna be using 29 black, six lime, six blue, six turquoise, and six purple. We are going to be skipping the middle peg. Why are we doing that? You know what my answer is, math, M-A-T-H, math. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> okay, so string your warp this way. Black, purple, blue, turquoise, lime, lime, turquoise, blue, purple, blue, turquoise, lime, lime, turquoise, blue, purple, purple, blue, turquoise, lime, lime turquoise blue purple black <clears throat> we are doing split loops today so I want to remind you this is one loop it has two legs we are going to be splitting the legs today so be aware of that we are going to start in the bottom right hand corner under one leg one leg then we're going to do six over two under twos one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go over this line and then we're gonna go flying across space like Star Trek and go over the next line. Then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, Six, ending on under one. You see how those loops are getting splitting? So are getting split because look, turquoise with lime, etc. So let's go over that again. Under one, and then we're gonna do six over two under twos. I'm talking legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over one leg, fly through space, over another one. Then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on under one. All of the things we're doing on the weft are black, so get a black loop. This is just gorgeous, and you know, I've seen it done with a uh, red, orange, yellow theme in here, and that looks spectacular as well. Looks like fire, like a fireplace, just beautiful. <clears throat> okay, okay, row two is gonna be two under two over twos. One, two, three, then under four, the lime four, then over two, under two, then over four, all the purple, then under two, over two, under two, fly through space, under two, over two, under two, over four, over the four purple, under two, over two, under the four lime, like over here. Um, then we're gonna do two, over two, under twos. One, two. All right, let's repeat that again. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two. We're talking legs, two legs. Over four, under two, over two, under two, space. Under two, over two, under two, over four. Under two, over two, under four. Under two, over two, under two, over two.
Okay. <clears throat> Row three is going to be over two legs, under one leg. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do over two, under one. We're going to go across the space and do under one. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, And then we're gonna do over two, under one, over two. All right, two repeat. Over two, legs, one, two, under one, leg. Then we're gonna do five, over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> then over two, under one, then there's the space, under one, five, over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then over two, under one, over two. going to be two under two over twos. One, two, under four, under the line, over two, under two, over four, all the purple, under two, over two, under two. Then we're going across the space where we're going to go under two, over two, under two, then we're going to go over the purple, over four, under two, over two, then we're going to go under four with the lime, <coughs> over two, under two, over two, under two. is going to be under one leg, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go over one, fly through space, go over the other one on the other side and do six under two over twos. One, Two, three, four, five, six, ending on over one to repeat under one leg, six over two under twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, over this one, fly through space on the other side over one, then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on under one. All right. Okay, row six is going to be 
over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, fly through space, over two, under two, over two. <coughs> Under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two. Get back, my friend. Under two, over two. All right. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four. Over two, under two, over two, jump across. Over two, under two, over two, under four. Over two, under two, over four. Under two, over two, under two, over two, with another black. Row seven is going to be under three legs. One, two, three legs. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do over two under one. Then we're going to go across and go under one. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go over two and under the last three. So let me repeat all that. Under three. Five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Over two, under one, jump across. Under one, five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Over two, ending on under three. Pack, pack, pack. Okay. Row eight is going to be two over two under twos. Then over four. Under two. Over two. Under four over two, under two, over two. And go across the space and go over two, under two, over two again, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, go past the space, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two. Oop. 
going to be under one leg, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go over one across the space, then over one again. Six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ending on under one. This is so, 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 so pretty. And like I told you before, you could swap out these uh, peacock colors for this pattern and put in red, yellow, and orange. And it's just gorgeous as well. The pattern is just, just gorgeous. Okay, row 10. It's going to be under two, over two, under two, over two, under four over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, go across the space, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two. is going to be over two under one. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go over two under one. We're going to go across the space and go under one again. Then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, and over two, under one, over two. Okay, row 12 is going to be under two, hang on a second, I'm going to move up a little bit, under two, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, under two. go across the space, where we're going to do the same thing. Under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, under two. Under two. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
the sticks. There we go. I said under two, but I didn't do under two, did I? No, I didn't. All right. The next row, row 13 is going to be under one leg. Then we're gonna do six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go over one across the space, over one. I'm gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ending on under one. Review, review, review. Pack, pack, pack. Under one, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six over one. Space over one, six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ending on under one. Okay, we're on row 14 in the middle. Yay! We need to pack these guys down. Yes, we do. Row 14 is going to be two over two under twos. One. One, two, over four. Under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, jump over the space, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, the space, over two, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two. All right. Well, I'm going to pause and straighten up these lines. Sometimes I turn off the video when I do this, but sometimes I don't. So what should we talk about? Baseball? How about them Yankees? <laughs> oh. You know what I say, make friends with straightening your rows. Uh, I have this cool tool that I got from Walmart. You can also get it on um, Amazon might be called a weaving tool or a loom tool, something like that. It's inexpensive and it helps you get into these little spaces. Just be careful you don't start shredding your loops. We do this not only because it looks good, but also because if you don't do it, you're not going to have room at the top. 
for everything else you're gonna put on there. You're just not. It doesn't take that much time and uh, now on some of the uh, weaves that have more floats you don't have to worry about this so much because the um, weaves constrict on themselves anyways but some of them you know need straightening more than others right I mean, look how far that is away. Look at my knit, knitting, knitting needle. Look how far up that is. When I first um, started doing pot holders again, and you know, and I didn't know what I was doing, at the end I had this big arc going across, and I thought to myself, that doesn't look right. <laughs> that can't be right. So I figured out that I have to straighten up my rows. Now that's how you learn. You look at something and you say to yourself, that doesn't look right. There must be some other way to do this that I don't know about. be happier in the end if you attend to detail as much as needed by whatever pattern you're working on. Like I said, some patterns, they have huge floats and they're going to constrict anyway, so you might want to straighten them a little bit, but you don't have to be as concerned because they are going to constrict. You could do this with your fingers. You now look. You could do it with your fingers. Get your fingers in there. All right. I feel better. Do you? I'm so silly. All right, what the heck are we on? I think we're on row 15. You know how I know that? Because there's a little piece of white on this peg that tells me that's 14. So we must be on 15, right? Right. Okay, we're gonna start off on row 15. Going under three, and we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do over two, under one, fly across space, go under one, and we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three. Two ending on an under three. This guy's coming off a little bit. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, row 16. Pack, pack, pack. Row 16 is going to be two over two under twos. One, two, over four. Under two, over two, under four. Over two, under two, over two. Fly through space. Then we're going to do over two, under two, over two, under four. Over two, under two, over four. Under two, over two, under two, over two. Okay, we are going to be on row 17. Pack, pack, pack. Row 17 is going to be under one leg. And we're going to do six over two under twos. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and then we're gonna go over one, fly through space, go over the one on the other side, and then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on under one. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, we're on row 18, which is going to be two under two over twos. One, two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, jump across space, under two, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under these four line. Over two, under two, over two, under two. After we pack this guy down, over two legs, under one, then we're going to do five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to go over two, under one, fly through space, go under one, then we're gonna do five, over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna do over two, under one, over two. Pack, pack. 
It's getting a little tight, so I'm gonna switch over to my safety pin. You guys can use your fingers, you can use a safety pin, you can use a hair clip, you can use a Tunisian or Afghan crochet hook, which are longer, whatever you like. Okay, we're gonna do under two, over two. Twice, under two, over two, under two. <clears throat> Under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two. Fly through space, under two, over two, under two over four, under two, over two, under four, under two, over two, excuse me, over two, under two, over two, under two. They all start to sound the same after a while, over, under, you know. <laughs> Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row 21 is gonna be under one leg. We're gonna do six over two under twos. One. Two, three, four, five, six, um, all right, then the middle guys, we're going to go over this guy here and then we're gonna fly through space and go over this guy here and then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, Ending on under one. Ooh. All right, under one, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over one, fly through space. Over one, six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ending on under one. Okay, we are on row 22. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. Row 22 is going to be two over two under twos. One. Over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over two, fly through space, over two again, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, over two. Get the tight. There we go.
All right, row 23 is gonna be under three legs. Five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, over two, under one, fly through space, go under the next one, and we're going to do five, five over two, under twos. Let's see here. Which way do I want to twist this? What did I just say? Five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, ending on over two under three. this guy. Come on, my friend. There we go. All right. Pack, pack, pack. So, so pretty and elegant. Twenty-four is going to be two over two under twos. One, two, over four, under two, over two, under four, over two, under two. Over two, fly through space. Over two, under two. <clears throat> over two, under four. Over two, under two. Over four. Under two. Over two, under two, over two. Some of these loops are a little bit tight. Twenty-five. Pack, pack, pack. Linda Smith Gerganus is a wonderful designer. Thank you, Linda, so so much for sharing your fabulous designs. They're just just beautiful. Row twenty-five is going to be under one leg. Six over two under twos. One. Over one, fly through space, over one. And then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, Six. 
79 under one. We will review that one. Under one leg, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over this one, fly through space, over one leg on the other side, six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on under one. All right, we are on row 26. under two. Getting pretty tight here. Under two, over two. Under two, over two. Under four. Over two, under two, over four, under two, over two, under two, fly through space, going under two again, so under two. Over two, under two, okay, over four, under two, over two, under four. Two over two under twos at the end. All right. I'm going to straighten some of these rows. Yes, yes, I know we're on the last one, but if we don't straighten our rows, it's not going to be happy trying to get in there. Right, right. Let's see, where should we start? Let's start with row 14. Because that's where we ended the last time. I know this is tedious. But if you don't do it, you won't be happy with yourself. And you know the two reasons because of how it looks and because you need, you must, must have space at the top for the next one that you're doing. Well, let me see here. You can get your fingers in there. Some designs, the, the leaves are so tight, you really, it really helps to have a tool to get in there, but this one's okay with your fingers. You know what I say, make friends with straightening your rows.
And look at that. See all that? I need that room for the last row. I really do. So I don't lose my mind. <laughs> all right. The last row is row 27. We're going to go over two legs. Under one leg. Come on, my friend. And we're going to do five over two under twos. One. Two. two under one, fly through space, go under one on the other side. All right, where are we? Now we're going to do six. Five over two under twos. One. Two. over two at the end. We'll go over that one again, just for fun. <laughs> All right, over two under one, five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, over two, under one, fly through space, under one, Five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Over two under one, over two. Yay! Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm gonna start at the top, binding off. Pick this guy up. Next guy, lift him up, pull him through. Keep going around like that. I'm gonna get this first guy. Put him back down as an anchor. I always encourage you guys to try different color palettes with designs, and you certainly can do that with this one. Although the original one is pretty elegant. <laughs> Peacock feathers, so pretty. Linda works very hard on these designs, Linda Smith Gerganis. And we are all the beneficiaries of her hard work. It's a lot of work to figure out designs.
another one. Some people use binder clips as anchors when they go around. You guys can do that if you want. Do whatever makes you happy, right? It would be fun if I could do several color schemes at once because uh, I've seen this done, I told you already a couple times, in orange, red, and yellow colors, and it looks like fire. Very, very pretty. So you guys experiment with different color schemes and see what you come up with. Okay, we're coming around to the first point. I, I like to use my first anchor loop to hang a ring on. So this is my first anchor loop, so I'm gonna lift that off here. Pull it through here, take the rest of these guys off. Pull these guys back through. How pretty that is you guys isn't that pretty mm -mm -mm. okay I'm gonna yank that for a second get the ring drop it on like a hula hoop spread the loop around like a shawl around your shoulders voila stretch things out a little bit there you have it how beautiful is that 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Linda Smith Gerganis, for this beautiful, beautiful pattern. I hope you guys try it. Have a great day.